I'm Wade, this is, this is the brother Luke. We're together, we're, we're part of the Bastard Smith brothers. We call home here in central Queensland, the best place on earth. The fishing's great, you know, it's some of the best looking islands and everything from reef fish to sport fishing, right here and we love getting stuck into it. Some of the biggest Red Emperor, Red biggest Emperor, GTs. Yeah, Barramundi. Big, big everything here, here in CQ and that's what we're about. Dad was, was a big part of it um, in the freshwater rivers. And the West there, yeah. where it all started, Yellow Belly and whatnot, and then old uncle, yeah, he'd he'd come in here for school holidays, and he introduced us to the estuaries and the, the inshore reefs. And then once we took off, it was yeah, bigger, bigger. Yeah, found that itch bigger. that needed to be scratched, and yeah. we just just had to sand it. Yeah, C catching, there, catching a few brim wasn't good enough. No. <laughs> we needed reds. We brim, needed brim turned into bait. Yeah. <laughs> Well really the bread and butter, what we've been doing for the, for the most time is definitely the bait fishing for the reefs. You know, dropping down big slabs, down chasing those red emperor and any guy and coral trout. That was where it all started, got the fundamentals there. Uh, the last few years been a lot more into the artificial stuff with the, the soft vibes, the soft plastics, slow pitch jigging, that type of thing. That's all been, been really cool stuff. And then even more recently. Well, we're, yeah, starting we're, to crack into the, into the popping. Yeah, popping and stick popping, baiting for, stick for baiting. GTs. And we're, we're set up to, to chase those style of fish. And, Big fish eating things on the surface. <laughs> it, if that doesn't get your heart going, mate, nothing does. There'll be another one. We've been pushing trips, you know, out, out towards towards the edge of the swains, and that's that's our, our next bet. You know, we, we're trailer boating it up to the swains, doing all the surface, knocking all the cool stuff off the top out there, and then. Before you know it, we'll want to go to Cato and Samarez and punch out in the coral sea in, in a trailer boat from your poon. Like, nothing better for a big human than to battle with a big fish. It's just, yeah, hey, like, we're front rowers and we want to take on the front, front rowers at the sea, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. running us. <laughs> With the style of fishing we're doing, when when we're sort of picking picking our our outfits, our combos, especially reels, we're we're after quality. You know, we we want something that's not going to let us down. We're pushing it to its limits with these big fish and and, and the, the harsh environment. You've got to be confident in your gear, knowing that it's it's going to work for you. You know, you can take it to hell and back, and you know it's still going to be there. It's it's not going to fail. The Slammer Three has been absolutely phenomenal for us. To come out with such a small reel that can take a beating um, with such drag capacity on it is just just, just about unheard of, you know. You, to, to get that drag in another reel, you, you're carting around something big and bulky and you, when you're trying to finesse plastics or all the vibes and that sort of thing, you're holding it, working it all day, but still be light but super strong and reliable in there with that drag to bust a big fish is, is awesome. I was excited enough as it was when they mentioned there was a four coming out because yeah, can you take a reel that good and improve and you think it can't be done, something and, to come out with even better, you know? Yeah. And still just that awesome looking reel, the black and gold look, it really sets off an outfit. They're just so reliable. You just wouldn't think about doing it anything with anything other than the slammer. Yes, yes, big one. Big head shakes. Really big one, mate, really big one. This way, yes. It's coming. The Slammer Fours would be a be a, a fitter, stronger front rower. They don't exist. <laughs> <laughs>